Hello, this is Bugle contributor Josh Gondelman. I want to say happy anniversary, happy 15th anniversary. 15 years ago, I was a fresh-faced college graduate with a, a senator named Barack Obama heading towards the White House, or rising in the national prominence and notoriety. I had no idea there was a recession on the horizon, and I had most of my hairline. And now I have to wear a hat 15 years later because my head is too shiny on camera to do otherwise. Uh, we've had a President Donald Trump. We are definitely in, in the lead up to another recession. And the slide into global fascism continues. And I don't want to pin all of that on the bugle, but I don't know that we can really say uh, it's not Andy's fault. Correlation is not causation, but it is correlation still. So just keep that in mind when I say happy anniversary, the bugle. Fifteen years ago, I was just a regular dude, uh, like everybody else, but thanks to The Burgle Podcast, uh, I'm now an accomplished housebreaker um, and effectively one-man criminal empire. Really, the advice has been astonishing. Everything from council house to manor house, I've found how the window locks work and I've broken in and, um, and, and I've, you know... I, I... Is it? Is it? Is it? No, I can't. Um, I can't read my own my own writing. Um, the, the Bugle podcast. Uh, happy birthday, The Bugle and and uh, Andy Zaltzman. I mean, uh, it's a podcast that makes me feel like I'm not the only mad one uh, in the world. Like the world really is like that. And Zaltzman is an astonishing comic brain, more prolific um, and more original than anyone I can think of. Um, so happy Bugle anniversary and everything I said before about burgling that son. That was a joke. 15 years ago, I was a fresh-faced Pacific comedian from New Zealand in the UK, trying my best to become a sharp live stand-up who talked about politics and family dynamics and social commentary and decolonization, just anything but rugby. Then I did the bugle. Now, I'm in Radio New Zealand, in studio, about to start recording my brand new podcast on rugby. Thanks, Bugle. Happy birthday. F*** you, Chris. I was unemployed. Hello, everyone. My name is Tom Wright, or Producer Tom, as some of you Buglers might know me. Uh, Fifteen years ago, in October 2007, I was preparing to create the first pilot of the Bugle, along with John Oliver and Annie Zaltzman. Uh, absolutely incredible that it's still going. Congratulations, Andy, Chris, Alice, and everyone who's been involved over the years. Uh, I feel really honoured that uh, I've been asked to contribute to this video, and will, of course, say, F*** you, Chris, and F*** you, Buglers. Here's to another 15 years. Hello, Buglers. It's Tom Ballard here from Australia. Happy birthday! Holy shit. 15 years ago, when the Bugle started, in October 2007, I was getting ready to finish year 12, finish up my studies. I was beginning to direct an amateur musical theatre production of Jesus Christ Superstar, which Andy will love because it's a musical about killing Jesus, which is what his people love doing. And I was getting ready to tell people that I was an abomination in the eyes of God and uh, come out, which Andy will also enjoy as he loves to mention that, every ep. Little did I know that I'd go on to become a big fan and eventually a guest on the incredible podcast, The Bugle, with little Andy Zaltzman and all the bugling friends. Um, happy birthday, everyone. Enjoy. Whoa, shit. Bye. Hi, Al Murray here. Actually, I need these on now. I'm getting old. 15 years ago, what was I doing? Well, 15 years ago, I was in a dressing room, not unlike this one, pondering on the idea of the podcast. I don't want to blow my own trumpet here, but it was me that came up with the idea of a podcast, a kind of radio broadcast, but not radio, you see, not reliant on some broadcaster to filter, edit and hold back the brilliance of the broadcaster. Yes, the podcast, my invention. And then and then I thought to myself, well, what we really need is a podcast that, that chops the news up into tiny pieces and then vomits 
on the news so it's more easily digested, like a fly does with its food. And who could they be that fly, I wondered? Well, Andy Zaltzman, I mean, the human fly himself, the news vomiter himself. And of course, it's been 15 glorious years of my idea, the bugle, ever since. Happy birthday, everyone. Well, 15 years ago, I was babysitting Andy's oldest child when they were a baby, uh, while Andy played football. And also I was podcasting, let the record show, I was podcasting first. Maybe the younger sibling, but I was podcasting first. Hello, Bugle. Happy birthday. I'm actually recording this on my birthday. That's how much I love the Bugle and being part of the team. Nothing brings me greater joy than sitting down for an hour and just talking lots of nonsense with very funny and smart people. So just here to wish you happy 15th birthday and say you've still got a good 10 years if you want to go out with Leonardo DiCaprio. Lots of love and uh, f*** you, Chris. 15 years ago, I discovered a true crime podcast called The Bugle. I've been an avid listener for 15 years trying to figure out who did it. But they don't seem to give any clues. They seem to digress week after week into nonsensical topical comedy, bringing us no closer to the killer. Since 2015, they've invited me occasionally to be on the podcast. And that's shed no new light, or any light, on who may have done this. Am I a suspect? Did I do it? Fifteen years ago, I was uh, very successfully working my way up the ranks of the hench people of a very powerful supervillain. And uh, then I thought, no, I want to go out on my own. I'm not going to be anyone's sidekick or henchman or second in command ever again. And uh, what can I say? I feel like I've really forged my own path. Here's half a glass of water to you, the bugle. Unbelievable. 15 years of the bugle. Uh, I remember when I got asked to do it, I believe it was 2016, and I just couldn't believe I was being asked to join a podcast with so much talent and intelligence. Uh, and I obviously I jumped at it and said, yes, I'll absolutely do it. And then I found out that John Oliver was not going to be there anymore. And I kind of already committed and I've just I've just, uh, I've just kept going. I've just kept going. Anyway, uh, happy 15th anniversary, Bugle and uh, Andy. Uh, I, I joke. Kind of. Hello, Buglers. It's NATO, your friendly neighborhood comedian slash union organizer from San Francisco. Happy birthday. Happy 15th anniversary. Let me see. In October 2007, uh, I was doing political comedy uh, with people who thought that George Bush was the f worst president ever, that we were on the verge of fascism, that Dick Cheney was the literal devil. Boy, how dumb were we. Happy birthday. I'll see you in 15 years in the Fury Road post-apocalyptic hellscape of our futures. Bye.